Okay, partial derivatives. Looks like we have a function inside of another function because that big set of parentheses and everything's raised to the seventh power. So as we get going on partial derivatives, let's first do the partial derivative with respect to x. So this means we're gonna treat x as though it's our only variable. Anything, any other variables, they're all gonna be treated like constants. So in going on this, we're gonna use the chain rule. So we're gonna to have to bring the exponent down in front, reduce it by one, Next, we keep whatever's on the inside the exact same, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So the derivative of x is gonna be one. The derivative of e to the y power, we're treating that all as though it's numbers, so it's a constant, so the derivative of a constant would be zero. Now, we probably don't wanna leave our answer quite like this. Um, that last set of parentheses becomes one, but instead of leaving one or one plus zero, Let's just get rid of multiplying by one at the end, and that's a little bit nicer answer. All right, next, let's do our partial derivative with respect to y. So it's the same idea as far as uh, chain rule says, bring the exponent of the outer function down, reduce the exponent by one, keep everything on the inside the exact same for now, and then we wanna multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So the derivative of x, we're treating that as a constant this time, so its derivative is gonna be zero. And then the derivative of e to the y power is gonna be e to the y. Because remember, we're taking the derivative with respect to y. All right, hope this helps out as you're working on partial derivatives. Good luck.